All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 5. So, uh, I don't remember what we did last time. All I know is that I literally have no freaking money, so obviously this episode we're going to be dueling people and earning some money back to either buy packs or buy more gifts for Akiza, etc., etc. This game is uh, going fairly slowly. It takes a while to build up hearts, so, you know, get a tag partner so you can do the actual tag forcing of Tag Force 5, but... Hey, it's fine. I'm having fun with it, and I hope you guys are enjoying the watch as well. So, um, can we just talk about this background music? Like, hello? This this thing, is, this stuff is going off in my ear. So, uh, I left the, the last location, and I came here, uh, and I guess I'll just duel against these randos here. So, we got, Ma uh, was that Masha? Oh, hello? Masha, duel me. Like, what do you mean there's no attack? She's right here. Alright. Oh, how does she know my name? Hello? Alright, anyway, we're just going to be just dueling against randoms this episode, which is fine, like I said. Uh, just need to earn some money. I tweaked the deck a little bit. Uh, last time we pulled some Gladiator Beast cards, we pulled that 1900 normal monster. And uh, I'm not a big fan of effects, I'm just a uh, fan of beaters. I want to go first. Uh, I know you remember, of course. Uh, Tag Force and uh, Legacy of the Duelist. Remember? Um, so, while I'm not really going to be playing Glad's, that 1900 bear guy, the normal monster, he, he's 1900, so I, I can always go with a nice 1900 monster. So I took out a, uh, an 1800 I wasn't using, put, make sure I put in a 1900, simple as that. So, as you can clearly see, we got our bear, and uh, they said that nice 100 attack higher is always good. So, with the ruck, uh, Rush, that means that would go up to 2600, and that's pretty beefy for a first turn, you know? Uh, you know, no tributes, no going in my extra deck, just 2,600 straight up. So, I would be not be surprised if she plays Future Fusion. All right. So, all right. So, Future Fusion, of course, this is pre errata, so that means she'll be sending right now. Wow, she is just going off. She is just going straight for the FTD. Uh, all right, well, uh, thank the Christ. Thank sweet baby Jesus, I have Lila. That's all I have to say. Thank Christ I have Lila. Wow, and she's going to set some background. All right. Uh, now, the question is, should I attack with Lila first? I'm going to say no, because I really need to get that feature fusion off the fucking field. That feature fusion will fuck me. All right, well, I forgot that this game is like, oh, yeah, you could totally activate her effect on summon. Like, no, she's not like that. So give her that feature fusion for me. Hold on, Buster. Never mind. She's like, fuck you, Forbidden Chalice. Okay. Well, I am in deep shit, then. I am, I am in deep shit. Because that means that, uh, do I, like, go to defense or cost, or, no? No, I'm good? Alright. Well, maybe I can get rid of it next turn. I still got one more turn, because that FTD has to fail. I'm kind of fucked unless I get, like, uh, like, freaking, uh, oh, see, 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 at 1800, but I was like, nah, 1900, so, she's like, I'm gonna go into defense. I'm like, alright. Uh, unless I get, like, fissure or something, that FTD will fuck me. Like, Masha, you can eat a dick, bitch. <laughs> so, of course, my effect is negated, so no mill, which is fine. I mean, I'm, I'm not playing Lila for the mill anyway. I'm playing her for the back row popping, because I, I think I only have, like, Dust Tornado. I don't have, like, Twin Twisters or something like that. Never mind, Soul Exchange. Okay. Um, true my bear, even though Lila is the one that was being a threat to you. So you're going to go ahead and summon Horus? Yep, so, of course, Horus is card unaffected by spell cards, which is fine, because I'm not affecting, I'm not going to be affecting you with a spell card. Wow, she just ends her turn. Can he not, like, attack during the turn he summoned, or are you just scared? Card is unaffected by spell card during his turn. I would turn this card, destroy the monster battle, you can switch someone one. You send this card, you gotta send someone from your hand or deck. I, I thought she would have wanted to... Get it in, but I guess not. Alright, let me try this again. Lila. Pop the future vision. Am I good? Yes! Good! Get that shit off the field, bitch! You fucking suck. I don't give a fuck, you. <laughs> ah, so she's just a dragon girl. She, she just has dragons out the ass, so. Um. I mean, banishing with Kaiku would not be terrible. Yeah. I can summon Kaiku, Kaiku attack, forbidden, I mean, rush reckless, go up to 20, it's plus 700, right? Yeah, 2,500, run over your horse, and banish, yeah? I'm kind of worried that you will potentially, um, have like a dragon's mirror. That would kind of suck. 
Ah, yes. Uh, even though I think this will still be more than enough dragons. So what the fuck do I want to get out of here? Do you even do anything? This car can only summon. So I, this car cannot be special summon except I'm going to play one more graveyard once you turn. Okay, so you're pretty much gone for the rest of the turn. I guess I'll get rid of the blizzard, and I guess I'll get rid of horse. <laughs> I don't know why that after that's what shocked you. Not the fact that I popped your feature region when you totally wanted to do it after the no. The fact that I banished your fucking horse that wasn't really doing too much in your graveyard. That's what fucking shocked the shit out of you. Like, all right. So, do you have anything left? Oh wait, you couldn't attack. I was like, how come you couldn't attack? Soul exchange. Duh. Duh. Before you guys tell me in the comment section below, like, uh, she couldn't attack Soul Exchange. You know, I'm just so freaking wow. I have, I played, I have no back row, and you're gonna get Heavy Storm. Sure. Sure. Um, yeah. I'm so used to Monarch Storm before, you know? So used to, oh, there's my from Bin Chalice. Nice. Um, blah, blah, blah. So kind of monster. Very well from play, so I could just keep removing from play, which is probably fine, but I think. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Beast King. Uh, no summon Beast King. Not tribute? Yee. Because I have Forbidden Chalice, so that means that I can actually do Forbidden Chalice and go up to my original attack. It's like playing it with, uh, it's like playing with Cleese. So if you come after my Beast King, I can go Forbidden Chalice on my Beast King. Go up, negate effect, go up to its original attack, plus, I believe it's what, uh, 400? Yeah, plus 400. So that would be like, be a whopping 34, and then I would stay at my original attack kind of like Cleese. I'd stay at that 3,000, so, hey. <laughs> Might as well activate Kaiku of the skin condition. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll just continue getting rid of your horses and shit. Just in case you want to get like a revival card. Yeah, now she's shocked again. I guess she, I don't know, maybe she's planning something with that? I have no idea, but the fact that she's so shocked by that, it's like, it's not really doing anything. More mail. Oh, Destiny Draw time. I forgot about that. I keep on forgetting about Destiny Draw. I'm not even sure if I have a card for a Destiny Draw even set. I'm just dueling against Dragon Duelist Girl over here. Oh, Monster Reincarnation. Yeah, shit. Maybe she did have something that she wanted to grab back. So... You're going to grab back Horus level 8, which you can do. Oh shit, she actually had Dragon's Mirror. Ah, Vindication. I was like, just in case you have Dragon's Mirror, Ka Kaiku, the skin condition will handle this situation. Nice. Alright, well, I think that is game, my girl. So, I can actually turn this to attack position, activate its effect again, turn back to defense position to pop your back row, even though I seriously doubt it was anything, because it was something we had played a long time ago. Yeah. Is, my, is that my wallet as a shield? Oh shit, she, damn, she plays my wallet as a shield. She's gonna bust out that FGD, and just in case you think that you're gonna get rid of that shit, with like a, you know, like my fissure or my lightning vortex, she's like, nah, my body is a, my body is a swag, my fucking wallet is a shield, my boy. <laughs> I'm getting for my fucking Zodiac on. Alright, game. Hey. <laughs> nah, not really. I just had Lila, like, thank Christ. Ah, oh, she doesn't give too much money, but of course, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and duel her one more time. I mean, she wouldn't be a terrible... The only reason why she wouldn't be that great as a tag partner is because of the frickin' Horus. Like, if she can actually bust that Horus out, then maybe we could talk, but, you know, it's just, you know, she could just dead draw the shit out of this shit. So, so I'm gonna go first again. Yeah. So that bear actually put in work, because she could have summoned herself 1,800 monsters, so, ey. But thank Christ, I, I was able to bop, pop that back row. Thank Christ, because if that 500 dragon would have hit the field, especially with her my body as a swag, she probably would have won. Yeah, she probably would have won. I would give that to her. Alright, so, well, at least I had duty of sailing, just in case. And sure, I'll go ahead and equip this on here. Why not? So, once again, again, it's powerful 2,600 first turn. Uh, that's how we get it done over here. So, future fusion again. What's future fusion at in this game? Is it at three? Or is it like one? Oh, never mind. Soul exchange. Oh, shit. Actually, you know, it's actually bad. This is actually bad. Uh, nuzzle. Oh, Mobius. Oh, okay. Oh, I missed timing because I believe it says when. Yeah, I do. I missed timing. 
I would. I, I like how the game tells me you're gonna miss timing. Because I, I probably would have returned it on top of the deck too. Oh well. Oh. I was I was actually saying oh shit I'm in deep shit because I thought that she was gonna summon um, Horus and of course Horus is unaffected by spell cards. Uh, horse level 6, and I picked the spell card so I couldn't finish it, so I would have to run into it with the ceiling and banish it, which is not something I really want to do right now, so. Thank Christ it was just Mobius the Frost Motor who didn't do anything, and of course he couldn't attack me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the redemption. I bet she would have liked to play Monarch Stormforth, but instead she had to play that pesky old soul exchange. Alright, now she's going on defensive again. Oh, uh, no back row either? Alright, I'm fine with that. Ah, there it is! Skill Drain! Vindication, my boy! Yes, I would like to summon him without tributing. Ah. Ah. I need more Beast King Barbaros. I need more Beast King Barbaros, more Skill Drain. I thought it was gonna be him. Ah. And I uh, wouldn't mind more DD Assailant. I think DD Assailant is the only uh, 1700 monster we have left in the deck, is DD Assailant. The thing else is 1800 bucks. But DD Assailant is so freaking good. Like, I love DD Assailant. Yep. So, she just played it on defensive. No. Oh, mm, she got a piece of background now. No, there's no reason for me to activate the skill drain. I'm good. Hey, Burden of the Mighty. So, and it makes her a little bit uh, weaker. Actually, a lot of bit weaker. A lot of bit weaker. Is it attack and defense, or is it just attack? Oh, just attack. God, she, she has that dragon. It's pretty good. It's 1800, but sorry. I'm summoning 1900 and above. I'm going to hold on to this DD Sailor just in case. You talk like that future feed and think you're going to... Even though I'm not... At this point, I'm not even sure if you're going to survive that. Because let's say, let's say if you actually do do horse. Horse would be 23. Horse is level 6, I believe. So that's minus 600. So you'd only be at 17, which is weaker than me. So. Alright. Destiny draw. What are you, what are you destiny drawing? Heavy Storm? Nothing. Alright. So, uh, I guess this is GG, uh, Dragon Duelist Girl. <laughs> First we duel against Callie. Now we duel against Dragon Duelist Girl. I wonder if anybody really remembers her. Does she still do content? I don't remember. I know she kind of like sold herself to like core TCG, and she didn't really put up much content anyway, and people only liked her because she was pretty, and uh, I think she did like Yu-Gi-Oh card art. Like, I guess she played Dragons, but Dragons was always a kind of girlish deck. It really was. It was really simple. No no offense, not to be sexist, but you no. Know, like Madoches and, and fairy stuff and uh, light swarms and uh, dragons, just, you know? Simple decks. <laughs> Not being sexist to state the fact. Alright, so, GG. GG. <laughs> Alright, so, that's another W for me, and uh, I made a nice chunk of change back on her. So, uh, I mean, there's still plenty of other people to duel in this area, little kids and stuff like that, but like I said, I'm looking for the major characters. So we got our money, we did our job, so next episode I'll probably go to a different area, see if there's any major characters there. If not, we'll just duel against maybe some randos. If not, uh, you know, we got money, so we can either spend it on more packs, or we can potentially, uh, spend it on gifts for Akiza. Of course, we gotta play the top game with Akiza and all that, and hopefully get her as a tag partner, because honestly, I mean, who wouldn't want, you know, Akiza on their arm, right? 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 Shit, even the gay people want Akiza, right? <laughs> Alright, so... Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play and some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 5. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys on Thursday with another episode. Alright people, thanks for watching.